We are two guys gaming. Hello all, this is part one of what I hope to be a series. I was gonna call it Reclaiming My Thursdays because I had been taking a class on Thursday, but now I'm done. And I was talking with a student, I said I should start hiking again, and they said you should, so I am. Today we're in Turner's, this is Barton Cove. You can boat here, you can fish here. There's a little campground on the other side of the cove there. And uh, this is the start of the bike trail, the multi-purpose trail, they call it. Over there, you can't really see it, maybe a little bit. In the background is a playground with many fond family memories of that playground with the kids. I'm going to get on the trail. I will check in periodically with some updates as we go. All right, first check in. We are here at the fishway. There's a fish ladder here because of the dam over there. It's really fun to come down and watch the fish climb up the ladder and get from down there to up here. Not open yet, but maybe I'll come back down and check this place out for you. Beautiful weather. You see the dam over there. It is a hydroelectric dam. You can hear the water rushing as well. Over there you can see the sign for the Discovery Center. It's a great place to go in, look around. It's a lot of cool little exhibits in there that you can see. At the end here, there's a couple windows that you can sit, look out at the river. It's nice to do. I don't think I'll do it today, even though the weather is great for it. I was talking to my hairdresser about how stinky this weather is. But I'll come down, I'll do that. I'll do the fish ladder some other time. So up that way is the main street here in Turner's Falls. I just watched a movie the other day, The Man Who Killed Hitler and then The Bigfoot. I thought it was filmed up in Keene because I thought I recognized some of the storefronts. I looked it up and sure enough it was filmed here. It's another idea that I could have is walk around downtown Turner's and show you some of the filming locations. They said parts of it were filmed in Turner's Falls. so. We'll see. Talk to you in a bit. This is my favorite part of the trail, is this nice long straightaway here. I just like the way it looks, especially in the spring and summer when the trees are in bloom. It's very colorful right now. As mentioned, the weather's kind of crummy and things are gray and drab and not very colorful, but in the spring when we come back, I'll show you what I mean. All right. I lied. A little bonus segment here. Only because I thought of one of the reasons that I really like this straightaway is when I'm riding my bike, you can really get some speed going here. There's a stop sign here, but as long as you watch out both ways, you can kind of get away with blowing through it because there's not a ton of traffic. And also, down here, there's a geocache that I remember finding when I was doing my streak of geocaching. Okay, time for the big finale. Turner's Falls is named for Captain William Turner, who led an ambush and massacre of Native Americans near the titular falls right over there. I think at some point, the mascot for the high school might have been the Indians, but I'm not 100% sure on that. What I know for a fact is a couple of towns over, Athol, were the Red Raiders up until like three or four years ago. Up in Amherst, they had to rename an inn, and they renamed the Amherst College mascot as well. But those are racist histories for another hike at another time. There's plenty to go around in this area, and I'm learning more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'll actually have a bonus episode maybe tomorrow, because I'm going into Boston with some friends to watch the Fenway Bowl. Maybe I'll see you then. Bye, guys. We are...